Today I will be showing you how to make the Origami Winged Dragon by Robert Neal. This particular piece of origami requires one sheet of origami paper. Start by, by flipping the paper over and folding it in half. Make a crease. Unfold, rotate the paper, and fold it again. Crease, unfold, then you want to flip the paper over and rotate it so that it's like this. Then you want to fold the paper like this. Make sure all the sides line up and then crease unfold rotate and then again fold so that this tip touches the other tip you want to make sure that all of the edges line up to crease, then you can unfold, and it should look like this. Then you want to flip it over, and then if you push this point in, it should pop all these corners should pop up. Then you can pick it up like this and push these four corners together. Now you should have something that looks like this. Then you want to fold this edge so it meets the center line. And then you want to fold this edge to meet this center line. Then crease, unfold, and you want to pull this first layer up as far as it'll go, and pull and fold these in. Now you should have something that looks like this. Then you can fold this tip down to meet the bottom. Now you want to repeat on the other side. Unfold. <coughs> Unfold this down. Now you should have this. Then, you can fold this tip down to meet this line. Crease, and unfold. Then you want to flip the paper over, and fold it down on this side. Crease, and unfold. Now, you can pick the paper up and open it like this. Not all the way, but just enough so that it looks like a four-sided star. And you want to push this tip in 
then using the creases you just made, sink the top. Once you're done, you should have something that looks something like this. Then, you can fold these corners in so that there, so that there's a crease running from this middle point to this point. It should look like this. Then fold it in on this side. And then flip it over and repeat on this side. Then you want to fold this like you're flipping a page in a book over this way. Then flip it over and repeat on this side. So again, flip it over like you're flipping a page in a book. Now you should have something that looks like this. Then you want to fold this tip up as far as it'll go, just that layer. Now it should look like this. You want to flip it over, then flip this one up as far as it'll go. And you want to flip this like you're flipping a page in a book. Then flip this one up as far as it'll go. Then flip it back. And then flip this one as far as it'll well, up as far as it'll go. Then close that. And now you should have something looking like this. Then you want to fold this flap down like that, increase it from here to this corner. And you want to repeat on this side to so fold this one down, increase from the middle to this corner and unfold, then you can fold both of these down at the same time, then do it, then it should look like this, and then you can fold it over to one side, and then it should look like this. And you want to flip it over and repeat on this side. So fold this one down, crease from the middle to that corner, then fold down on this side, Crease from the middle to that corner, and then fold it down like that, then over, and this, so it's on the same side as the one you already did. Now it should look like this. Now, you want to open this up and fold this down so that it's in line with this right there. And then you want to fold this down so that it's like that. And then you want to repeat on the other side. So fold this, so open this up, fold this one down, and close it. And now your paper should look like this. Now you want to fold this flap up to here. It will be the wing of the dragon, so you can just fold it up as far as you want it to. And then flip it over and fold this one up to the same angle and height. Now you want to open this flap up, fold this down, and then close this flap. Then you want to do the same on this side. So open this flap up, 
fold this down and then close it. Now you want to flip the paper over, open this flap up, fold this down, and then you want to close it. And you want to open this flap up, fold this down, and close it. You want to flip the paper back over, and you want to fold this up. So it's facing a little bit backwards. And so it looks like that. You want to do the same with this scent, but not quite this, but a little less oh, back. There. And now you want to fold this flap back and flip it over and fold this flap back. Then flip the paper over again. Open this flap up, fold this flap down, fold it up, then close this flap. Now it should look like this. You can put this at any angle you want to, but be careful not to adjust it too much or else you'll end up with this little hole in it. You want to open this up again. Then you want to fold the flap down, down and then fold it back up and then close it. So it looks like this now. Now you want to do the same with this end. So you want to open it up fold it down, fold it up, and you want to close it. And crease it, and open it, fold it down, fold it up, and you want to close it. Then, you want to fold this flap forward, like that. You want to fold this flap forward, flip it over, and repeat. So this flap forward, and this flap forward. Then flip it back over. And now you want to fold this down at a 90 degree angle. so that it looks like that. Now you want to fold the very tip of it up just ever so slightly. This is one of the trickier parts, getting just the right amount of it up. Now you want to open up this, fold this up, and then close it up. Oh, damn. So fold it, so open it up, fold that up, then you want to close it so it looks like this. Then you want to flip it over and do the same on this side. So fold this up like that and then close it. Then you want to flip it over. And then you can fold the tips of the feet up.
Then right there, that. Then you have the completed origami dragon. And you can fold the wings down if you want to. You can sort of just like modify anything. Like fold the tail back. Or you could like change the feet. But, so. <laughs> 